In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily remove a background, but keep the hair and the whiskers. So if you're doing this with an animal, you can make this image look like this image relatively easily. Let's jump in. Okay, so I'm in Affinity Photo and I've got my picture here opened up. And what the goal is today is I wanna get rid of the black background around the dog. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this thing called the selection brush, and it's on the left-hand side, it's the fifth one down, and as I hover over it, you'll see it says selection brush tool. Now when I select the selection brush tool, it's gonna to open up this little menu at the top, and I've got an add button, a subtract button, and then I've also got the width of my actual brush. So I could make my brush really big, for example, and I could also make my brush quite small. I'm gonna make my brush actually quite small, I'm going to make sure I'm selecting the add button and now I'm going to go in and I'm going to simply paint where I want the selection. So in this case I'm just using my mouse and I'm just scrolling around the dog, painting around the dog and it's selecting the difference between the dog and the black. Now it's not going to be perfect so don't get too upset if it's a bit clunky at the start. We can see here that it's trying to figure out what to select. So I'm going along and I'm just making the selection bigger and bigger. So now I've got all of this selected. Now you'll notice there's this piece here that I didn't select and that's okay. What I'm gonna do now is click the subtract button and now I can paint back and it will capture the uh, little tail there. I'm gonna click the add button again and I'll continue along. And really I'm just kind of hovering over the edge and it's picking up the difference. Again, this is not a perfect tool to start and that's okay, we've got a second step here. So as I scroll on down, I've now got the black selected and we can see here I missed this piece here, it selected the piece of the red. So I'm gonna click the subtract tool and then I will brush this back. So we're pretty good. I like the way that looks and we'll get this back about there. So I'm kind of just doing a rough outline to start. I'm not too concerned if it's perfect or not. I'll select the add button again, I'll just bring this over, and that's pretty good to start. Okay, now here's the second piece of it. There's a refine button sitting right there in the top of the menu, and I'm gonna click the refine button, and now the computer is gonna show me exactly what it has selected. And now what I can do is using my brush, I can simply brush over using the mouse key, I'm just brushing and the computer now is going to refine those images. So I can brush over all the little hairs, for example, and it's gonna think about it, and it's going to show me exactly what it's selected. Now, you'll notice over here, the, it's selected a little bit more than what I wanted. You can see the red is going out into the black, and that's not exactly what I wanted. So I'm gonna go back to the selection tool. I'm going to select subtract, and I'm going to brush it back so that it's, or add rather, so that it's inside the dog. So I'm going to do that. So you just have to play with the add and the subtract. I'm gonna do that now. Now I'm gonna go back to the refine tool and we can see now I'm missing pieces and now I can brush over it and it will be very accurate on what I want. There we go. Okay, so I'm very happy with the way that looks. And I love this little refine brush. You can get really in there and you can get it as accurate as you want just by simply clicking the little hairs. Okay, so now we've got the dog and it's all orange, which is the way I want. And I really like the way it's captured the hair. So now we're gonna go back to the left-hand side. I'm gonna select the selection brush tool. And you can see now there's a bunch of marching ants around the picture. Now there's a really important step that you need to do at some point along the way. This layer over on the right hand side, it says dog and there's my dog picture. It says image in brackets. I wanna right click that and change it to a pixel. So I'm right clicking the layer and I wanna to go to rasterize. And when I click rasterize, now it's a pixel layer instead of an image layer. If you don't do this, it won't work. You can do it at the start, you can do it halfway through like I've done, it doesn't really matter. But now I've got a pixel layer. So now, if I select the delete key, if I just click that delete key, it now deletes the background, which I think looks really nice. Now if you wanted to delete something different, okay, so let's say for example, I deleted the wrong thing, I'll just do control Z and that'll reverse it. You can actually go up to select and you can do invert pixel selection. 
So now it will select only the dog. You'll notice the marching ants are not going all the way around my document. They're just selecting the dog. So when I hit delete, now just the dog has disappeared. I'll do control Z again. If I don't want to delete the dog, I'll go up to select and then invert pixel selection. Now I can hit the delete key and the background, only the background is there. Now you may want to clean up the image. I'm going to hit control D and that will remove the uh, selection. And what you may want to do now is just go into the regular erase brush tool. I'm just going to make the width of it quite a bit smaller. And you could go in and you could delete out, for example, the borders on an image. So you can also use the regular erase tool as well, but you can clean up the image, uh, you know, in a number of different ways. So this is just an easy walkthrough on how you can delete out you know, a relatively simple background because the refine button shows you exactly what is being selected and the computer algorithm is pretty smart. Now I'll simply put in my background, file place, and then of course I'll just simply drag my background layer underneath my dog and now I've got a nice background layer of a watercolor. So I hope you found that helpful. Very easy walkthrough for beginners here in Affinity Photo. Here's another video on how you can level up your graphic design skills. Thanks a lot for watching.